Hey, this is a portrait sketch of Gerd Rivia, a witcher. And nine. <coughs> hey there, thanks for joining me. Last of it all speaking. So before you start with the overall shape, like lines, silhouettes, and everything like that, you need to already know, and you need to make a decision about the idea of the drawing sketch itself. So in this case, what's the camera angle? What's the the style choices? What's the story that happened in that moment that you want to sketch? And after you have a basic idea and have some decisions, you can gather some reference and try to visualize what you have in mind. After all that, you can start to sketch the first shape, which in this case is about the line, uh, try to convey the major shape with a big brush, remember start big and finish small loose and rough at the beginning and detail at the end in terms of storytelling i decided to set a scene where some guy yells a girl when he passed through the street and says freak or something like that and I imagine the reaction of Geralt because of, unless it's a happy accident you will have a hard time to figure out when you sketch with no decision, with no list with no uh, reference um, what it will come out so it's like follow a recipe when you're cooking you know and if you are methodical and disciplined, it will be a game changer in your work. So it's important to understand and remember for an easier approach to design specific things, it's okay to use the warp tool and draw in symmetry. In this way you can avoid to spend useless time try to reach the right angle, the right perspective and the right design. That's one of the advantages of working in digital. And of course, uh, your software is your friend. A good thing to remember is to use the rule of uh, one, two, three. It means that you can draw maximum three elements in a drawing. So in this case, we have a medallion some potions and the swords because if you overdo things it just uh, feel like it's a, a completely mess uh, a chaos remember less is more a good thing to do when you draw is to flip your your canvas more than once so you can keep a fresh eye mentally and you can see your mistakes and adjust them uh, right away. And here we use the liquify tool, your best friend in terms of adjusting the perspective, anatomy, anything in the drawing. If you're like me, a little lazy about uh, settle down right the proportion and everything you can adjust everything later with the liquify tool so now it's time to adding to add more shading and grayscale to add a more brightness into the drawing like a traditional sketch you know and then some final adjustment uh, setting the overall opacity of the multiply layer of the shadows and there you go a finished sketch and thank you for making it so far bye